Or it's fine emotional. now because I don't have the kids at home, but once they come in, it's a nightmare. <laughs> no heating oh, or hot water for a month. How hard has it been? Oh, very hard. Aitke Gorosh has to wash her five children by boiling a kettle. Okay, we'll put the hot one here, mix it up with the cold and then bucket and then give them a wash. And with no central heating, she now uses electric radiators. How expensive is it? 150 a week it costs me. And I work part-time for a week for £100, so that's £50 out in my pocket I don't have. And she's not alone. Hundreds of homes on this estate have been left without gas for two weeks. Tom Matthews has been forced to go electric for triple the cost. How much more money have you spent because of this? I'd say roughly about £300. Can you afford that? No, I can't afford it. I'm on benefits. I've now got to worry about how I'm going to pay my upcoming bills this month. The Strawberry Vale estate has been classed as one of the most deprived in the country. Most of the 600 residents who live here are vulnerable, disabled or elderly. Many are on low incomes. They're being put in a situation where they're racking up costs for additional electrical heating and cooking, um, which frankly some of them can't afford. The National Grid say gas was cut off because there was a problem with the meter on the estate but say it's up to the Housing Association to fix it. Is it acceptable for people to go without cooking facilities and heating for two weeks? We have provided cooking facilities. We've provided temporary cooking facilities. Yeah, they're electric we? ones and they're, most of the people are, can't afford to spend a lot more money on electricity. We understand that electricity costs more. Our long-term solution is to provide residents with electrical cookers and we will meet the cost of that. When will the gas supply be fixed? Do you have a date? Our priority is to provide a sustainable and safe solution. So you don't know? And so we have offered to... We've offered but when, when, when will it be back? At the moment, we're not, we don't have a date. With no date, it's another night with no heating or hot water for Atika and her five children. Rags Martel, ITV News, East Finchley.